It's taken me over a year to over $20,000 lost and frankly pissed a bunch of you off in order to bring you this product research software, which saves me an insane amount of time when I'm doing product research software. See, it sounds like a great idea for a software, which is why in late 2018, I took all of my ideas and decided I got, I got really ballsy, decided to build my own product research software. So I hired a Russian developer, that didn't work out. I eventually found a good business partner in Vietnam in order to actually make this a reality. And wow, was it so great to use, but it was so not great to have to try and get customers for and have to do customer service for. And just, I realized in 2019, my biggest weakness as an entrepreneur is I lose excitement for projects once we're a couple months down the road. And I just was not prepared for all the work it was going to take to break this software a reality. So eventually, with $2,000 a month in developer costs, $200 a month in back end software costs, and anywhere between three and $600 a month in costs for the server, I had to shut this thing down because at the peak of the existence of my software Profit Beast, we had $1,500 a month in revenue. That's it, $1,500. And most months, we were losing upwards of 2K per month. I said, I have to cut the bleeding. I'm done chasing bad money after even worse money. And there we go, it's done and over with. But that pissed a lot of you off, even to this day. This was a couple months ago. I get lots of comments on the YouTube videos. Where is Profit Beast at? Where is it at? Which shocks me because it didn't seem like many of you were subscribing. So the few who did subscribe loved the shit out of it. But now we have replaced it with something much more economic, economically sustainable. See, my old business partners already had a decently similar extension called ASIN Zen. So what we should have done and what we have now done is taken all of the Profit Beast features and moved them into their software and had a nice little setup so you can literally, you'll barely know the difference. But so in this video, I just want to show you all of the features because I'm telling you, this is the, I can't even do research without this software and show you how to get it. It's, it's simple. So here we're gonna start off with their two features, okay? And the whole goal of the software is we wanna load every single piece of data you need right into the web page. I don't wanna to have to reference anything else. I don't wanna to have to go any, I don't have to open any other extensions. None of that crap. It takes way too long. So especially when you need to do it 100 times during a deep product research session. It's just, it's stupid. I don't know why I had to invent this first. So here we are on the search page. I just searched for silicone spatula. And you can see below every single one of these silicone spatulas loads a bunch of data. Estimated monthly sales and monthly revenue are the most important things here. And contrast that to how you used to have to do product research. You come here to the helium 10 button. You click the x-ray. You wait for it to load, which takes quite a while when you this isn't your first take of a YouTube video. <laughs> And then you have to figure out like which one of these pictures actually corresponds to what product I'm looking at. And I need to look at six products on this page. So I got to do it six freaking times. It's just so much data and I'm terrible at looking at all this data. I need to see it right below the product itself. So that just saves so much time because you don't, like, don't realize how much you do this in a product research session. It's a lot. Then on the second part of the extension, here is a simple product page. And you can see what loads below the title, this big, this big box. And there's a lot of data here, which seems kind of intimidating, but I mean, more data is better, hands down. I don't think anyone's gonna lie about that. So we have, of course, estimated monthly sales and revenue at the top of the page, as well as we've got a little historical sales data as far as its best sellers rank here, and a lot of just generic data that's nice to know. How long has the product been available for? What are the dimensions? What size is it? Large standard size. It's great to know. You know, you never, sometimes you don't know. Is the product oversized or is it just on the brink of being a large standard product? You don't know. And here we have ourselves the profit calculator. Oh, do I love the profit calculator because it tells me this product is cost me, it's selling for $18. Okay. And then I could put in the buy cost. Here, this is actually connected to the Amazon API, so it gets all of these fees straight from Amazon. So you know it's right when it tells you what the fees are and how much money you're gonna get after fees. See here, I can hover over this little I, this little next to the profit, and it will break down for you. Okay, I'm selling the product for $18. 
I'm paying $2.70 to Amazon for a referral fee. I'm paying $3.28 for the fulfillment fee. I estimated that this product is going to cost me $2 to buy. That is nothing. That is something that not any software ever can estimate for you, how much a product is going to cost to buy. And then it's estimated that it's going to cost $1.70 per unit to ship this product from a unit from China over to here in the US. And it's going to be a similar cost if you're in the UK or somewhere else. Now, where does that overseas shipping estimate come from? A buck 70? That seems kind of crazy. Well, what it is used is it uses the dimensions of the product as well as the weight to give you an estimate, keyword estimate, on how much it'll cost to ship by these two different methods. You can see we have C shipping, and look at that. If I click the C shipping estimate of 26 cents, boom, now that auto fills in the calculator. If I click the air shipping, boom, that auto fills in the calculator. If you're experienced and you know what this stuff's probably already gonna cost to ship, you just turn that off and it's done and it's over with. And you can see I will get a total $10.01 after Amazon fees for this product. So these overseas, these shipping costs are there for you new sellers. They're not here for experienced sellers, okay? And they're not perfect. They're supposed to be rough estimates. But what I want to help do, this is why I have it in the software. It, as a new seller, you don't know if a product's going to cost you $2 to air ship or seven. You have no clue. So I want to give you guys a rough estimate, a ballpark to say, this is where this is the this is the ballpark right here. This is what you should be thinking it's going to cost, and it may be less, it may be more, but you got to get in the range. And for you experienced sellers, you don't need that. But new sellers, you know, I, I remember being a new seller. I remember that, and you don't know anything. So that's what it's there for. Now this is the software. We've got the two parts here on the product page, and then we've got here on the search page. That there you go. It, sh it does everything that I need. I, I don't. I don't use any other extensions to show me sales estimates pretty much ever. Now, the good thing about Asin Zen is it is super, super cheap. I don't know why they've made it so cheap. It's much cheaper than Profit Beast was. If you take a look at their two different plans, we've got the $60 year one. It's not what you need. It does not have what you need. It's only good for certain niche uses in the arbitrage space. You need the $150 year one, which I have a $25 discount for you. So it's going to cost you $25 a year, $125 a year, which is like $10 a month that you were paying for this software. What else can you get for $10 a month? I can't even get an email responder software for that price. So they made this incredibly cheap, which I'm very happy for. They've even given us the discount code for this. So all it is $150 a year. Now I want to show you, all you have to do is go to their website, asinzen.com, A-S-I-N-Z-E-N, -E and you'll be able to get this software. It even comes with a free trial. They've given me a landing page which gives you an extended 30-day free trial that is linked in the description below, as long as well as that discount code you can use once you go to purchase the extension. Now I want to show you guys a little bit about how to set this up because... You're gonna to need to know that. So let me actually log in here to their web portal and show you there are actually two plugins you're going to need to make the original ASINs in look like this, okay? Because we had to add those profit piece features in. They have a couple of plugins. It's much like how Google Chrome has a bunch of extensions you can install, okay? ASIN Zen is the base software and you have additional extensions you can install here. You need to get the search view, that's going to load stuff on the search page and you need to get the sales estimation, which brings in the sales estimation part of it. You, those are both free. You just click the activate button down here and that will make those installed. Then you need to come into your, go to a product page on Amazon and you simply need to do a little bit of setting stuff because it won't look exactly like this when you set it up. You need to go into the calculator settings and you want to go to overseas shipping costs and make sure that's turned on. That's it. You could even change your estimated shipping cost to pound, but we've got the default set in there, which seems to have been pretty uh, accurate with, with what I would expect things to cost. I've shipped a lot of stuff now. Then also you need to come here to settings and you need to go to view settings. This is where most of the things are. You want to turn off the FBM calculator. You want to turn off store offer data section and the variations view. These are primarily used for arbitrage sellers. And well, that's what this tool was originally developed for. 
And also you need to type in down here, historical data sources, Keepa.com, because Amazon has a new rule where third-party developers cannot, uh, they cannot link to other sources of data that can be paid for. That's why you literally have to type it in yourself. It's dumb, it's stupid, but they're just keeping in line with what's required. So that's it. It's all you gotta do for the software. And it's just, it's such a cheap solution to what you need. There's no other way you can get these kind of sales estimates for, for 10 bucks a month. There's just no way. And I'm, I'm in happy for them. I mean, I think they're selling it for too little, but you know what? They're giving it to you guys. They're giving it to us. I, I'm happy to have them. I'm so happy that this is now a thing again. So go down below if you want to do this. Get the 30-day free trial on my it's a landing page built just for me. And then you got the $25 off discount code. It's very simple. It's all there is to this video. Thank you. I'm happy Profit Beast is installed. Please stop commenting on my YouTube videos. Where's the Profit Beast at? Where's the Beast? I'm sorry I got tired of losing money on it. Actually, I'm not sorry. I'm, well, I'm kind of sorry that I did this in the first place because I could use that 20 grand right now, you know? Be nice to have.